Right, we're in Five Guys Watford. It's match day. Burger review. Let's tuck in. I'm cutting it down. You know what? Not as good as I hoped. Burger's quite dry. 6.5 out of 10. Let's get down to Vicarage Road. Yes lads, it's Subian Talks for Tier and in today's video we're heading down to the very bottom of the Premier League for a relegation dogfight, Watford versus Norwich under the lights on a Friday night in the Premier League. It is so, so big for both teams, Ranieri's Hornets even more so. They will be so, so desperate to pick up all three points. Norwich, however, they're on a high after beating Everton the other day. Watford have not won a game since November the 20th against Manchester United. That was the last time we were at the Vic. We've been there three times this season and all three times they've been five goal thrillers. So let's hope, Watford fans will hope, I'm bringing them luck for a 5-0 win tonight. I don't think it will quite be five. I'm saying Watford three, Norwich nil, Emmanuel Dennis, the Nigerian hero. He was taken out of AFCON for games like this and nights like this. He didn't quite do it against Newcastle, but can he be the hero tonight? I think he will. He's the captain of my FPL team and I'm relying on him. And I know he will score a hat-trick tonight. Mark my words and come back to me when he does so. Let's head down to the Vic. It's a Friday night and I'm buzzing for it. We're in, we're in the Watson ticket office. Ten minutes before kickoff, I still haven't got my ticket for the game. Only me would do that. It's going to be a race against time. Let's see. Let's see if we make it or not. Imagine seeds if we miss a goal. Right, look at that. We've got it straight away. Such a big night for Watford tonight. Let's get in that stadium. We're in. <laughs> oh my days. Only Watford would sell homemade lemon drizzle cake and carrot cake in their ground. Unreal. I don't know if you can hear it, but quick, quick shout out to Watford for having the best, got the best pre-match music of any team. We're joined by Izzy and Ellie tonight. It's such a big game. Score prediction. 3-1 Watford. 2-1 Watford. Come confident. On. I think 3-0, I think they're just going to smash Norwich out of the park tonight. Tribute to the great Graham Taylor. I may look like a mug, but I'm changing my prediction 10 minutes in. 
I'm just going to go for the 1-0 to Watford. Dennis was still bad the winner, don't get me wrong, but it's looking like a one-goal one goal game. And that bit of quality will win it for Watford so far. I can already tell this is going to be a painful watch, but Dennis will get the winner in the end. It'll be 1-0. Oh, straight at Angus Gunn. Half an hour and over half an hour in. Still goalless. But off the pitch, Watford fans are not disappointing. What a boring, boring game of football. You can tell these two sides are at the bottom of the Premier League. I think Izzy's uh, choice of positioning has summed up that first half. She's literally sitting on the stairs. And to be honest, I don't bloody blame her because it's been an absolute horror show. About 30 seconds left of the half. My feet are killing, I just want to sit down. <laughs> the joys of football, oh my god. Go on! Yes! Oh! I genuinely thought that was going in. I genuinely thought that was going in. I don't know why, but it looked like a goal. Half time can't come soon enough, and I'm sure it's here. I agree. There we are. Half time on Havik Road. Applause from the rookery, and I have to say, Dean Smith would be by far the happier of the two managers after that. So, so frustrating to watch from a Watford perspective. Norwich, however, will be very, very happy with the way they've contained Watford. Going forward, they, Norwich have absolutely no quality. Puki is just dreadful. But the biggest second half of both of these teams' season awaits. Just like that. Second half's underway. A roar from the Rookery crowd needs to get up those Watford players' asses and get them a goal, which they so badly need. Izzy, are they going to get it? <laughs> you can just hope at this point. It's, there's no guarantees, especially with Watford. You never know what the hell's going to happen with these lot. Let's find out. I don't know how, I do not know how the hell that is a goal. I'm lost for what, I'm honestly speechless. Who's scored it in? Josh Sargent. Josh bloody Sargent. He's ginger and he's American. I don't, I don't know what more to say. Norwich take the lead. I can't bloody believe it. How on earth have Watford allowed that to go in? I'm shocked. They're checking it on VAR. I think it's a goal though. I'm speechless. Norwich are one nil up. Yeah, goal given. Norwich fans go absolutely wild. Great limbs from them. Better than I expected. Watford needs to pick up the bloody pace. Otherwise, it's not looking good for them in their season. Norwich are ahead. There's a bit of a light show going on in the away end. The lights in Vicarage Road have shut out and the players have had to stop playing. Oh my god. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That is so, so weird. It's the second light failure Watford have had at one of their matches in recent weeks. It's actually quite funny, but thank god we get a break from watching that shit. I mean, I just have no clue what is going on. The floodlights have stopped working. I don't know if they're, gonna, they're fixing them or the game's going to get pulled off. I think Watford fans want it to get pulled off at this rate, but honestly, God knows what is actually happening. We're all so confused. Right, there we go. We're back underway with the floodlights still off. We can see perfectly. I don't know about the players, but we're back underway. There's going to be about 15 minutes injury time as Norwich attacks straight away and they, they completely and utterly screw up straight away. This is huge for Watford if I haven't mentioned it already. I don't bloody believe it. I do not. The 
American ginger has done it again. Josh bloody Sargent. Josh Sargent. Puts Norwich 2-0 up in the 70th minute. It's effectively like 58 or whatever, but... Oh, this is so, so painful to watch from a Watford perspective. I know Izzy's fucking fuming. <laughs> you can hear the Norwich fans in the back going absolutely wild. And just to make matters worse for Watford, and for me, Emmanuel Dennis has been sent off. Oh my God. That intro now makes me look like such a mug. And the fact that I captain him on fantasy football, and he's now out for the Burnley game as well, I think. Oh my God. <sighs> this night could not get any worse for Watford. I'm just <laughs> shocked. I don't know what more to say. I don't believe it. Watford had the ball in the net, but that liner over there says no goal. Sissoko crashed it in, the rookery went mental, and hope was restored. No. Nope. 15 minutes. Oh my god! And the lights turn on. As they say that, 15 minutes of injury time. Bloody hell. This is going to be a mess. It already is a mess. And the goal is disallowed. Still 2 0 Norwich. 15 minutes for Watford to turn it around, though. I don't bloody believe it. Norwich 3 0. What the hell? I, what's, what is going on? I just. Everyone's leaving. Everyone is leaving. They're all going. They're all going. Norwich are having an absolute party in that away end and they are 3 0 up. What the hell? What? Nothing's going right. It's just all gone wrong. Look, it's, it really is all empty. It's, there's still, I think, about seven or eight minutes left of the added time. This is awful. Full time. Vicarage Road, greeted by booze. That was, oh my god, what a shit show! <laughs> Ellie's fuming, and I don't bloody blame her. Oh, there's a pitch invader! Oh, there's a pitch invader! You bloody love to see it! What a way to end the night and put a smile on, on these Hornets' faces. Norwich, Norwich fans. Take a bloody bow, I have to say. You've been incredible all night long. So have your team. Right, we're going to end it here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to make them speak because they're fuming and I do not bloody blame them. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you've made it this far, I don't know how the hell you Hashtag have. Hashtag Ranieri out. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial. That was a shit show. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.